What is up on family? My video is dark. Oh, that's because I turned off my camera. <laughs> that's funny. That's really funny. I'm back. You can see me now. If you can see me, let me know in the comments. I turned off my camera by accident. Welcome. Happy Thursday. Hope you're having an incredible start to your day. I want to talk to you guys about something that's very, very important. Questions get asked all the time about this. And I want to tell you one of the reasons why your marketing is not working. And most likely, you're just wasting your money. So if you're watching live, give me a hashtag live in the comments. If you're going to be on the replay, hashtag replay, or just say hello. It makes my heart warm to know that you're watching me. And um, so how do we stop wasting money on marketing, right? One of the biggest things that you need to know is that if you're just throwing marketing dollars out there without knowing who your avatar is, you are wasting money. Now, what is an avatar? An avatar is not a blue person uh, that you watch in a movie. The avatar is your ideal customer. It's the people who keep walking into your store and it's the easiest type of person to get in in order to spend the least amount in marketing to get into your shop. They make up 80% of your business. They are the ones who are pawning, buying, selling. And most of you have no idea who they are. Now, let me tell you why I know this. Because for many years, my brother and I, we pretended to know who this person was. Um, and then we would spend tons of money in marketing uh, to them. But the truth is that we missed the mark big time. And let me give you an example of this. We thought that we had more females who were pawning with us. And the truth was that the male population beat them by about 12%. So we were running ads because my father, may he rest in peace, always said that the females are the ones who pawn. We listened to this hearsay and we started running all our marketing dollars towards females. And we realized that we were super, super duper wrong. And when we started shifting our marketing from just female to male as well, our business grew exponentially. So um, I'm going to teach you how to do this in the five-day pawn marketing challenge. It's right there. The link is above. And so why does this matter? Like, why is this important? Okay, because if your average customer value is $280 and your average and your customer acquisition cost is uh, $17, and if you don't know what this is, you better click, like, if you don't know what I'm talking about, for 37 bucks, click on the link above. Just for that, I will save you tens of thousands of dollars a year. And I will make you more money guaranteed. If you don't know what your customer acquisition cost is, your average customer value, you have no idea what I'm speaking about, um, click on that link. Let's stop uh, pretending like we know what marketing is uh, and actually learn what marketing is so that you can stop spending money, so you can stop being afraid to do marketing so you can drive more customers into the store. I'm waiting. I should have like a dee, 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 like a Jeopardy countdown thingy so that you, you click on that link because it's that important. Most of you think you know what marketing is, but you actually have no idea because you haven't studied it. The truth is that you either went to a convention and some speaker gave you a speech on it, or even worse, a pawnbroker friend said, this is what you should do. They're doing it wrong. And so you decided to sink money into that wrong message. Now, how do I know that I, what I'm doing is correct? Because I've been teaching this for the last two years, and we've had clients double their new customers, uh, regrow their loan balance after the pandemic, sell millions and millions of dollars more uh, in inventory, able to buy and find more inventory using these methods and knowing that their social media presence is growing, um, that their average customer value has gone up, the customer acquisition cost has gone down. So this is a proven method that I'm teaching you. Plus, uh, understand that I ran a pawn shop for 16 years. Um, I'm on the board of directors for a nine-store chain. We're doing this day in and day out. And I have marketing mentors of mine currently, which I'm learning new methods week in and week out. So if learning marketing for you is listening to a pawn friend 
who isn't really doing it well, <laughs> like it just makes me laugh. I feel bad. I feel bad because in the pawn industry, we have, we want to help each other, right? But most of the time, the person who, who is helping you hasn't studied marketing in depth. And so it's just like, oh, this is what I tried. And because they want to uh, brush their ego a little bit, they want to give you that information and uh, bless their heart, bless their soul. And um, we all do it because we want to help each other out. But if you're not doing it the right way, you're doing it the wrong way and you're spending way too much money, right? So in the comments, I want you to know, uh, I want to know if you've ever done work on your avatar, on building out who your avatar is in your business. If you've uh, come through my courses, gone through the last five-day pawn marketing challenge, uh, Carrie Todd uh, Delaney says, the first one was awesome. Thank you. This one will be just as great. Carrie, I promise you that. Um, Jeff says, uh, great info, true power of know your customer for the future. If you don't know your customer, if you don't know your avatar, you are losing money, you are not making as much money as you can, and you are so overwhelmed with your marketing because you're trying to market to everybody. And if you're trying to market to everybody, you're spending more money and spending way too much time. If you can niche down on who your avatar is, and I'll show you how to do that in the five-day pawn marketing challenge, I guarantee you more of your community is going to find out who you are, what you do, and they're going to use more of your services. And I want to speak very frankly. I'm going to take this banner out of the way so that you can see my face fully. And I'm going to get close to the camera and close to the microphone. Over the last three years, I have interviewed some of the most successful palm brokers in the world. And it comes down to them not bullshitting themselves that they know everything. The moment you stop pretending that you know it all is the moment that you start learning and you start making more money. I promise you that. $37 is a lunch or a dinner. 30 minutes a day to learn it is not that much time. And the moment that you stop making excuses that you know what you're doing or that your friends in the pawn industry know what you're doing and you actually learn how to do it correctly is the moment you're going to make more money and you're going to get less overwhelmed than ever before. I want to talk straight to you because I know you're watching and you're listening to me. It's time to give up on the ego. It's time to put the three balls down for a moment and learn the way business should be done. And it's not just for me. You're going to have some of the most epic mastermind members in this five-day pawn marketing challenge who are going to also give you information on what they're doing and how they're succeeding at having their pixel have tens of thousands of people on it. If you don't know what a pixel is, you better, you better click that link. If some of this vocabulary that I'm using, you don't know what I'm talking about, customer acquisition costs, average customer value, uh, pixels, uh, engagement. If you don't know what that is, click on the link and jump in. Because I guarantee you what is going to be taught over the next five days has never been taught in a five-day challenge, in, in, at any conference, at any convention. Because nobody is spending the money that I'm spending to learn it, to teach it to you. Because there's a fear in this industry, right? We want to make money, but we're not willing to invest in ourselves. If you invest in yourselves, and it's $37, ladies and gentlemen, please. Like, if you're stopping yourself over the dollar amount, then you shouldn't be in this business. Straight up. Real talk. If you're stopping, oh, it's $37, I don't know, it's too much money, just get out of this business. Get out. Jump out. You should not be in here. This business, you need to invest in yourself to learn how to 
how to do this business because I guarantee you it's not the same business it was two years ago. It's just not. It's not the same business that your father ran. It's not the same business that the person who you worked for ran. It's not the same business that was 50 years ago. It's not. And if you're going to sit there and just be mediocre and not learn, you are going to sit there and have a mediocre bank account, a mediocre relationship with your team, and a mediocre relationship at home. You cannot sit there on your ass and not take the time to learn and make the excuse that you're too busy to learn or that it's too much money, $37, to invest in yourself. If you can't do it, then have a manager jump in. I'm tired. I'm tired, ladies and gentlemen, honest to God, of the pawn excuses. I'm tired of it. Some pawnbrokers have gotten their loan balances back, having the best years of their lives, all because they invested in themselves. And I'm not trying to sell you on anything. I don't care if you go watch a YouTube video. Just do something. But stop the excuses. Stop it. I've been there. I've worked with hundreds of pawnbrokers. I've heard them all. Your excuse can't be newer than what I've heard. It just, it just can't. What's your excuse? I'd love to hear your excuse. In the comments, what is your excuse? Let's hear it. Let's have a conversation. Jeff, if you're still on, man, let me know if you want to jump on live. I'd love to talk to you. Um, that'd be epic. I know you're 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 a little bit busy these days. <laughs> just a tad. Just a tad, just a tad wee busy. Um, but stop making excuses. Click on that link and jump into the challenge. Let's make it happen. Let's grow your business together because that's what I truly and honestly want for you. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Love you all. I'll see you next Monday.